At a restaurant, 42 people had breakfast on Saturday morning. One seventh of the people ate eggs only. Two thirds of the people ate both pancakes and eggs. The remaining people ate pancakes only. Which fraction represents the number of people who ate pancakes only? So in this problem, we are going to have to use fraction bars, but let's go ahead and pull out some key numbers. So first thing, we know that 42 people went to the restaurant. We also know that one seventh of those people ate eggs only. Two thirds of those people ate pancakes and eggs, and the rest ate pancakes only. We need to figure out how many people ate eggs and how many people ate pancakes and eggs before we can talk about how many people ate pancakes only. In order to do this, we're gonna have to make a fraction bar and we're gonna have to do multiple. So let's first figure out how many people ate eggs only. Okay, well, let's go ahead and put in a fraction bar. That is my fraction bar. And remember that the fraction bar represents everybody. Well, if this represents everybody, that means there are 42 people, I'm gonna write P for people, in this whole bar. Whenever you see a fraction, you need to think about it as the bottom as how many parts we cut and the top as how many parts we take. It says one seventh, we're gonna cut it into seven pieces and take one. So let's cut into seven pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I know they're supposed to be even. Let's try to pretend that they're even. It's not very great, but let's see. There are seven equal pieces on this bar. We took the 42. We took the bar of 42 and divided it into seven pieces. Well, if we're dividing it into seven equal pieces, how much does each part of this have? How much is in each part? Well, let's go ahead and do this. 42 divided by seven. That means each part should have six people. So six people in each part. Well, I'm only going to take one of the seven parts. Let's take one part of that seven. That is six people. So in reality, six people, and I'm going to actually type that out. Six people, eight eggs, only. So six people had eggs only. Well, now we have to talk about the ones who ate pancakes and eggs. Let's make another fraction bar. Let's go ahead and put another fraction bar. I'm going to put this blue fraction bar here. Remember, that is still everyone that went to the restaurant. So that is still all 42 people. This time, however, the fraction is 2 thirds. That means we're going to cut into 3 parts, take 2. We cut into 3 parts. We need to take the 42 people and divide it into 3 parts. Let's do that. 42 divided by 3. Each section is going to be worth 14 people. And we need to highlight two of those. So you and you. Well, that's 14 plus 14 people. 14 plus 14, that's a total. Let's go ahead and do that on the calculator. 14 plus 14 people. That is 28 people. That is 28 people who ate pancakes and eggs. All 
All right, so that's 28 people who ate pancakes and eggs. Now we need to know the remaining. Well, we already know, and I'm gonna do this in black so you can say, so you can see that there's 42 people total. I'm just gonna write P for people because I can't write total apparently. Um, out of those 42 people, six had eggs and 28 had pancakes and eggs. Let's see how many people ate those together. If you do 28 plus six, that's 34 people. We're gonna write 34 people when we added those people. Well, we want to know the remaining out of the 42. So let's subtract the 34 from the 42. 42 minus the 34 gives us eight people. That is eight people who ate only pancakes. Now, a lot of people are gonna go straight for G if they see that answer. But remember, that's eight people out of 42, not eight people out of 21. This fraction needs to be reduced. Well, let's take half of eight. Half of eight is four. What's a half of 42? 21. Right here is our answer. So F should be our answer.